Hey guys, Jordan here with Lister Pros TV and today I'm gonna to talk about the best lens for real estate photography. Now, the best lens for real estate photography would depend on the kind of camera that you're using. Uh, but from my experience, the best workhorse style lens for a Canon camera, which is very uh, popular these days on the APS-C uh, size sensor, we've tested a lot of different lenses, the Sigma, we've tested the Canon 1018, we've tested the, the Canon 1022, and the one that we keep going back to and that we own on all of our uh, cam Canon cameras is the 1022. It is a little bit more uh, pricey, but you're getting the fixed aperture of f4, and the sharpness and quality is a much better than the cheaper one that came out a year or so ago, which is the 1018, and in my opinion, is is superior to the Sigma option that you have for your uh, Canon camera. Now that that's for the Canon camera. So if you have an APS-C size sensor for the Canon. Uh, definitely the uh, the 1022 is the way to go in my opinion. Um, if you have the full frame version of the camera of the Canon, say the Mark III or the Mark II, uh, I would recommend the 17 to 40 uh, f4. They have a, another option, I believe uh, that is a 2.8. It's quite a bit more pricey, but the one that I've used is a 1740 uh, f4 you can pick those up for three four hundred dollars and i've been very impressed with that one that's actually the lens that i originally was using on the sony cameras uh, when i got the full frame a7r2 uh, i used the metabones adapter with that lens but um over time uh, i realized so i switched to the sony over two years ago and that's pretty much all that i personally have been shooting with is the uh, Sony A7R2, uh, and uh, this lens they have a they have a couple different options, but this is the lens that I really love. It is the uh, 16 to 35 f/4 Zeiss uh, lens, and it is a great full frame option. Uh, it is pretty pricey, but it is a great lens. Um, as with every lens, there's a uh, there's drawbacks and positives. It performs real well, auto focusing in low light, and that was one of the biggest problems that I had using an adapter with a Canon lens, and that's why ultimately we went to the Sony glass is because it was so unreliable to focus uh, the lens, the non-native Sony lens in low light. Now, if you have uh, the smaller uh, non uh, full frame, like an A6000, A6300, A6500, you'd want to go with the uh, the Sony 1018 lens. This is a, a fixed aperture of a f4. This is a solid lens for the APS-C size sensor, and these are going to be running about seven, eight hundred dollars. Now, this one's about thirteen, fourteen hundred for the full frame. Uh, this is a great lens um, for the APS size sensor. Now, when it comes to image quality of the APS-C versus the full frame. Definitely got to give it to the full frame. The Sony a7R2 is by far one of the best cameras that I've worked with when it comes to being able to edit raw images uh, to the extent that you want to. You can change pretty much everything. You can boost shadows, you can drop highlights, and it retains so much data on the raw image when it compares to uh, a Canon or a Nikon. I don't have too much experience with the Nikon, but definitely uh, the, the Canon because I was shooting with a Mark III previously and uh, I really love how deep this is. Now with this, now we're talking about lenses. The F4 16 to 35 does have a, a single, an issue that uh, is kind of annoying. It does have some light leak issues if you're, if you're shooting can light. So you just kind of have to uh, deal with that by sw uh, tweaking with the focal length depending on the location. It usually happens when the, the can lights are uh, in the corners of your lens. So you just kind of got to watch out for the light leaks. But outside of that, um, it's a great lens sharp throughout. I, I, I really don't have many other complaints uh, with this particular lens. Now, if you're shooting on a Panasonic, we own quite a few Panasonic GH4s. We usually don't use those too much for real estate photography. We do own a wide angle lens, which is the seven to 14, and that's a, a fixed aperture of F4 as well. And it is a, a great lens, but at the same time, uh, shooting on a micro four thirds lens, especially for low light, I think it would perform perfectly fine uh, during the day. Um, but the low light on the Panasonic just isn't uh, isn't 
quite up to par when it comes to to Sony uh, image imaging. The raw images are actually pretty good on the GH4. We've edited quite a few headshots and different kinds of images uh, with the, the Panasonic, and uh, that is a, a very solid image, um, but not as crazy as the Sony. This is a 42 megapixel, which is kind of overkill. If you don't have the A7R2, you can probably go down to the A7R. We have a lot of those. Those are 36 megapixels. Those uh, raw images are very deep as well. Or even the A7, which is even cheaper. And those are, that's, uh, I believe, 24 megapixels. And you're still getting a, a solid image quality, though not as good, because I've noticed that the A7, without the back backlit sensor, does have a few drawbacks when I'm uh, comparing apples to apples. So maybe in another video, I'll be doing an apples to apples comparison between all these cameras since we do own all these. But um, if you're shooting Canon, APS-C, this is probably the 10 the 1022 is the way to go the full frame sony's the f4 16 to 35 if you're shooting APS-C size sony then uh the 1018 f4 is uh what you want and uh there are a lot of options out there but these are the ones that i definitely recommend obviously this isn't a paid advertisement this is just stuff that we use in the field every single day so if you guys had any additional questions on these lenses or wanted uh, us to do some type of field test with them feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below we'll be more than happy to answer those for you and if you like this video consider subscribing to our channel we'll be putting out more video content like this and as always thanks for watching we'll see you guys on the next one